Is Massey and Poloni still my coaxial cable of choice? How the heck do you set up a microphone to talk to your ham radio and live stream at the same time? This time on Mailbag Monday. What's happening, everyone? Thanks for tuning in to Mailbag Monday. If you have an amateur radio-related question for me, shoot me an email, k 8 mrd at iCloud.com, and you just might be featured on an episode of Mailbag Monday. Guys, we got two great questions for you today, so let's dive right in. This first viewer asks, after your numerous raves about Messi and Poloni coax, I purchased some. Great. Uh, now living in New Zealand, the freight hits us bad. So looking at the difference uh, cost from the USA and Italy, I got some direct from Italy. Great, it has arrived and now has plus on it. I don't know what the heck that means, but <laughs> uh, then I see you're buying cheap LMR 400 on the internet. Is Messi and Poloni no longer your preferred coax? Well, that is a great question, and thanks for writing in. Uh, <laughs> Messi and Poloni is still my preferred coax. It's still connected to every radio in my house. Uh, it goes with me when I go portable. It's what I use. The only reason I bought the uh, LMR 400 off of Amazon was because one, it was $58 for 75 feet, and two, I thought it would make an interesting video and test. And as I'm learning more about coaxial cable this year, I really like testing what kinds of different cables that uh, are available. I, I have uh, I have met the owners uh, of, of uh, ABR Industries right here in Houston, Texas. They make amazing coaxial cable as well, and I have some of theirs, uh, and I need to be doing some videos on those shortly. Uh, but I, I'm kind of just compiling the data for all of these coaxial cables. So, you know, so if somebody asks me, what is a good coaxial cable? I can say, well, Messi and Poloni and, and ABR are like, you know, right up there, as is Times Microwave. Those are kind of the, the higher end. But what's the difference when you go down to a lesser quality coaxial cable? And as we saw, the, the, the KMR 400 coax from Amazon, uh, it wasn't what they advertised, but it wasn't it wasn't horrible. It, it really wasn't. I thought the connectors especially were fantastic, so much so that I went out and bought some, and I did a separate video of that. So, uh, you know, it, it's kind of... Some people have Yesu FT5Ds. Some people have Baofangs. You got to compare them. If, if I didn't have this radio, I wouldn't be able to compare this radio to anything and vice versa. So it's the same thing with coax. You know, there, there are high end, there are middle end, there's low end. It's the same thing. It's, it's all about sharing what we learn uh, and, and showing and telling and, and looking at the data in, in, a, in as, as controlled and, and a uh, scientific method as I can so we can become uh, better informed consumers. So, yes, Messi and Poloni is still number one for me. So thanks for writing in, though. That's that's a great question. And yeah, it's too bad that uh, everything costs so much more to get out in uh, New Zealand and Australia. I, I feel you. I get a lot of emails about that, especially with, like batteries and things like bio. I know it's I know it's tough, but uh, you're going to love your coax. Congratulations. And thanks for writing in. Next, we have a question that's a little more behind the scenes, but I think this is a really cool question. And uh, I know it would have helped me out a lot. Uh, in in doing all of this live stream this this viewer is asking I have a question how do you get your boom mic hooked up to your radio uh, I thought I knew as I'm setting up to do live streams like you and Josh and Jason do uh, and I'm getting a hum when I hook up the monitor out of the mixer to the mic input of the radio I'm missing something but I don't know what so that's a great question um, I have a couple different things going on that I'll show you here in a minute but Basically, what he's talking about is so when I do live streams, I I'm using I'm using a program called OBS to film and and switch all the scenes. So here's one camera, here's another camera, here's question one, here's question two, etc. Um, and I have I've just set up my keyboard with hotkeys. So I press Q, it's this camera. I press one, it's question one. I press W, it's this camera, etc. And you can do all that in OBS. So I basically have uh, a few different things to route the audio, but I'm also using uh, a capture card. I have a, an ICOM 7610, and I'm using the, the video out from that into uh, a, a whatever the video thing is. It's not HDMI, but HD, uh, call it VGA, I have no idea, to HDMI and then to an HDMI capture card that goes into my computer USB. So 
uh, OBS can see it as a video source. So to look at OBS, what I'm doing, uh, I'll show you this screen and let me move this out of the way. So these are all the sources that we use down here. So here's all the Mailbag Monday questions and then I have display, which is what we're looking at right now. And then if I hit F, now you can't see the display, but that's what I would use like if I'm doing FT8 and stuff. Everything goes into this one microphone input. So if I were to turn up the 7610 right now, you can hear the static from 10 meters right now and I can change bands and you know we can tune around and hear some signals and stuff. But also when I key up the microphone, I have a foot switch down here and I can key up. KMRD is a frequency in use. So you can hear the radio audio, but you can also hear the microphone and how am I mixing all those things. So let me show you uh, what I'm doing here. I'm really using two different signals here. First, we start off with the microphone, just using a Shure Beta 58, and this mic cable is going directly in to channel two here using XLR cables, okay? This quarter inch jack is going from the headphone jack of the external speaker, but you could also just plug it in to the headphone jack of the radio. So I'm using my mixer to do all the splitting. So my main faders, my left and right master faders, the right channel is for the microphone to the radio and the left channel sends my signal to a USB audio interface that we'll see in a second. So here's the mess of wires. And again, here's the high L cable that goes, this actually goes to uh, the radio and there's a foot switch in there. And then this left signal goes to the USB audio interface that allows me to have the microphone into the computer as well. Got my, co my cables coiled up there. I did, did put some ferrite beads that helped get rid of some noise. Now, keep your cords kind of away from your power supply. That can cause some interference. So be, be mindful of that. So let's follow this wire here. So basically we're going from the microphone down into channel two. And then that signal goes from the right master output down this XLR to the front of the radio. And then this quarter inch jack goes down to my foot switch. So I can PTT the radio and all that stuff without having to uh, change microphones or do anything. It's just always on. Now this cable here is just an XLR that's doing nothing but going to my USB audio interface which looks exactly like this. This is the Behringer UMC 404 HD. So I just have, that's the XLR going in. There's the gain for it. And from here, the USB output goes into my MacBook. I also use, this is just a cheap wireless lavalier set that I bought on Amazon. And I'm using this as a wireless in-ear monitor so I can have uh, basically headphones without being attached to this with a cord, not a big fan of cords. So that's that's the signal path. So there you go, it's a pretty simple setup, I think. Uh, most modern mixers these days are gonna have a USB output, so you really could get rid of that Behringer, Behringer uh, UMC 404 that I'm using as a uh, USB audio device. But uh, yeah, you're just routing audio. As far as the noise you're getting, actually when I was moving things around to film part of that video, my XLR cables actually got kind of close to the power supply and caused a bit of noise. Once I moved them away just a few inches, it went away. So that is probably your culprit right there. So thanks so much for writing in. Guys, if you have a question for me, don't hesitate. Shoot me an email, k8mrd at icloud.com, and you just may be featured on an episode of Mailbag Monday. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again on another episode of K8MRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.